We had someone write into us and say that their partner is wanting them to try things in bed that they don't really know they want to try. They're not really sure. Like and eating cookies in bed? Yeah, I'm sure that was it. That's crummy. <laughs> oh my God. I'm Reed Mahalko from Read About Sex. I'm Kathy Bartulli from the Intimacy Jojo, and I am Woo! so sorry. <laughs> we didn't give him his meds this morning, and now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we'll give you more coffee and Bailey soon. Awesome. <laughs> um, you can feel pressure when your partner wants, and, and it's really important to be able to talk to each other about things you'd like to try, and it's also really important for people to just be able to say, no, I don't want to try that, or I'm okay with not trying that for a while, or let's talk again later. And when someone starts, they can feel pressure if someone's like, how about now? How about now? You want to try it? Come on, it'll be good. Try it. No. <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> So what would you recommend? Um, well, the first things, if you're going to, a couple of things that people don't, often don't understand about relationships. You're allowed to talk about stuff mm -hmm. and never have to do it. Yeah. So many people are, you know, confronted or think that, you know, if we talk about this or that, um, then we're somehow implicitly agreeing. You know, well, it's the Pandora's box syndrome. Like once we open the box, we can't shut the conversation down. We have to go through with it eventually. There's a lot of things that are erotic that I like talking about that I never want to do. Yeah. And that's the next piece is understanding that there are things that are a turn on that you may never actually have to, you know, try, but that your partners just wanted to know that, that it's okay that they're into it. Um, and so when you take those two things and combine them, there's a lot more space in your relationship to talk about and consider things and leave your partners feeling loved for, for who they are. Um, and I would say the third piece is, is like just the curiosity. Mm -hmm. Like once you have the conversation, once you realize this is a turn on for your partner, well, maybe you're curious about learning more mm -hmm. to figure out if it's a turn on for you. Mm -hmm. um, learn how to do it safely if you're ever going to do it because you don't have to ever do it um and then you know just kind of the consideration of you know there are things that that my partner might be into that i'm not into but i'm not a no to doing mm -hmm. but when you if you don't walk through it step by step it's really overwhelming all at once mm -hmm. but when you go through it step by step you're like oh well there's this thing that might you know whatever that my partner's into and I'm not really I'm not into it or turned on but my goodness my partner gets really turned on by it mm -hmm. and I like it when my partner's turned on so I mean I'll do this thing with them you know even though it's not my thing mm -hmm. and then the the other thing I would add into this is it's okay to try stuff yeah and not and, and not that. like it yeah it's okay for your partner to be so into this thing and for you to be like okay Let's learn a little bit more about it so we don't hurt each other. And then, you know, let's try it. And then for you to be like, wow. That's not for me. I didn't like that. Yeah. You know, I'm, it's cool that you're into it, but like, let's, let's not do that again. Or maybe I'll try it two more times just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm not into it. Where this is really useful is also understanding your partner. They can, we can handle disappointment. It might not be delicious in the moment, <laughs> you know, but we can handle it over time. What really your partner wants is to be loved for who they are. Mm -hmm. So you can be like, honey, you know, I love that we tried this thing. Yeah. I'm sorry it's not my thing. Mm -hmm. um, however, when we do this other thing that we both like, why don't you tell me about this, the, the, the thing that we just tried? And like, we'll, we'll make a fantasy around it. Yeah. Some people don't need to, to partake in the actual experience so much. If they can experience it. If they can mind. experience it in their head and share it with you. Mm -hmm. And then the other possibility too, you know, for those of you who are in open relationships or non-monogamous situations, your partner can go and have that experience with somebody who is into it, mm -hmm. who does want it. Um, and then, you know, they come back to you all excited that they got to do their thing. Yeah. Um, for some of you, that's called golf. <laughs> it's definitely called golf for me. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, I don't like golf. I, 
go do your golf thing mm -hmm. and then come back. Yeah. Um, just because, and you also can say, no, I don't ever want to talk. You know, I've tried that or we talked about that. I don't want to try it. I don't want to talk about it. Like you, you're allowed to have boundaries about certain next. Absolutely. But, and, and I would say get clear about as to why you're a no. Mm -hmm. Not that it, not to create pressure, but is it a no because it's not erotic or turn on to you? Mm -hmm. Is it a no because you think it's gross or something, you know, whatever that, like get clear on why you're a no just so you can communicate that more. Yeah. And one thing you can do to take off the pressure, a lot of people, especially um, in my experience, a lot of women I've worked with, there's a, a feeling like if I can't meet all of his needs and we don't have a perfect Venn diagram of our desires, it's not true love. We're not soulmates. And human beings, there's no one person that can meet all of our needs. There's no one person that's gonna be exactly perfect for um, every sexual desire and fantasy and act. So it's okay to have things that are a no for both of you. Mm -hmm. And there's okay to have things that you kinda of like and you're willing to do because it pleases your partner. And there's okay to have, it's great to have a bunch of things that you love to do together. Mm -hmm. And focus on the things that you share, that you both enjoy, and, and get as much mileage out of those things as you can too. Yeah, hope this Leave helps. your comments. Hello. Bye.